now we have again reading studies remember on page 64 and 65 we had our first reading studies and I told you to uh, follow along and keep the tempo and keep up with me we played it at a fairly slow tempo the main thing is not to make up for your mistakes the main thing is the mistake is the already the past and you need to keep up and follow along with the time um, now we're going to play a reading these reading studies in F so again practice the F major scale the second position and um, as we said on page 64 and 65 the the wonderful statement of do not practice these exercises again these are reading studies in order to prepare for these reading studies you really have to practice page 70 and 71 especially the F major scale in second position if you're having problems with these reading studies go back to the C major reading studies on 64 and 65 and do it slowly I am going to play this now slightly faster than we did the C major studies we did that at 60 we're going to do these at 65 so follow along again if you make a mistake keep going if you make a mistake for a whole measure count the next measure and come in in the appropriate measure where you should be coming in always try and keep your place so this is the first F major reading study on page 74 oh slower one two three four That's a big jump from the C major uh, scale reading uh, studies that we had. Again, as I mentioned in the previous reading studies, after a while you look at phrases, you look at the movement of the scale, the movement of the notes, you notice if there are skips. In the last measure of the first line, I'm not reading E, D, C, B flat, A. I see that it's a, it goes down scale-wise, step-wise, and from E to E. So I can look at that and, and follow my eyes to the next note to F. So I'm... Um, when I'm looking at measure one of the third line I notice there's a, a leap from C to E a leap of a third 
and, and then scale wise from G. So I'm going C leap to F scale leap scale from B flat going back up. Oh, here we go to F. So that's how I'm I'm starting to look at these measures as scale wise as leaps as individual notes to help me to get my eyes moving in phrases and not just one note at a time when I play one note at a time it's like oh yeah oh nope oh, there's the next one there's the next one you want to look at the phrase it's it's too fast to uh, look at these eighth notes and think of each one individually now we have the second reading study in F, which is page 74 all the way through 75. This is a long exercise to keep your concentration. So I might take it in sections and then take a rest and take the next section. The main thing with reading for me is concentration and reaction. And the more you do the reading, the more you practice your regular studies and learn how to read your sight reading this is like simulated sight reading the more you're able to concentrate and have a quicker reaction F major second reading study one two three four There might be some places that you have a lot of problems keeping up. Let's, uh, let's pick a measure, a line. Let's say the first line 
on page 75 where it goes. What you might do at first is to at least play the first note in each measure so that you keep going and keeping your place and keeping the time going. So it would be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Not, no, that's not hard. Then maybe you want to add a couple notes of one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, rest. At least get those parts. The main thing is to keep it going. And I cannot stress enough that if you're not doing your part with learning the scales and doing the exercises before this, this will be very difficult. These are always excellent reading studies to go, come back to.